You know what this is? Is it um is it is it Denny's? It's de well, it's not Denny's. You no. prom you <laughs> promised we would go to Denny's. Well, we went to Red Robin. Well, yeah, but Denny's though. Maybe we'll go to Denny's later. Do you know what this is though? Oh, that's the number 60. Yes. I recognize it from math. Which means it's the sometime vlog. <laughs> Tyler Evans. Oh. Everybody, hey. Tyler Evans, no longer rock journalist, just nope. a guy named Tyler, That's, uh, who is back. my friend. Oh, yeah. yep. Tyler, yep. I'm gonna miss the sound of your sputtering. You want me to record it for you? you can can just you just do it, it again, real quick? Oh, oh, okay. Okay. We gotta start it. Okay. It's the sometimes blow. Oh, blow. <laughs> okay, now do one where you. Yeah, it's the sometimes blow. <laughs> My favorite is when you like stutter, like a car engine. Look at this, everybody! It's a castle. Wait, we're not supposed to go that way. Oh no. Well, that's part, not part of the deal. Okay, let's go this way. Okay. It's Sleeping Beauty Castle at Disneyland. Tyler is here because I literally kind of dragged him and guilted him. Sort of. Sort of. Sort of friendship guilted him to lunch. Friendship and then, guilted me is the best way to put it. Yeah, friendship guilted, you know. Yeah. And then from the Red Robin to Disneyland, yeah. Tyler is going to move home to Georgia soon. He is homesick. He misses his family. Yeah. In like a good way, like not in a lame way. Like, you hey, homesick loser. Come on, that's nice. He wants to be with his family. And so I'm trying to rack up all the friendship hours I can with Tyler. And it coincided today with needing to come to Disneyland. I'm taking my last look at Disneyland, guys. This is it. Forever? I'm done. Well, no, yeah, forever this week. Oh, okay, but you'll be back next week? I'm gonna be back in two weeks. What? After visiting Walt Disney World. Tomorrow at 9 something a.m. I fly from Los Angeles International Airport. Oh, that's the worst. To, yeah, it is pretty much the worst airport of all time. Yeah. To Orlando International Airport. Which is a good airport. Which is like a freaking really, like a yeah. really, like a really cool airport. So. Yeah. And it's like a really cool, like older airport that you met online. It's Disney like, has really put awesome. some money into that airport. I would. Yeah, I, I think so. And there's a cool hotel and a fountain in it. Also, yeah. a snack bar of some kind. Anyway, I'm taking my Larry. I'm taking my very last look at Disneyland before the trip. There's the Matterhorn, the mighty, mighty Matterhorn. Something they don't have at Magic Kingdom. As a matter of fact. As I'm a Matterhorn gonna, effect. It's a Matterhorn effect. Yeah. Every time I like that, I'm at. The Magic Kingdom at Disney World. I'm looking at the castle and I look to the right. No Matterhorn. You know, the castle at Walt Disney World is way more than twice the height of this castle. Yeah. It's almost three times the height. That's I read that on Wikipedia. It's a little taller than the Matterhorn. Is that true? Matterhorn is 157 feet. And I'm pretty sure Cinderella's castle at Walt Disney World is like 107. Is feet? the Matterhorn the biggest structure in Orange County? I don't think so. I think so. But it's pretty large. You could fit a whole office max in there probably. You could probably fit at least a Staples. Yeah, for sure. At least the Let's keep walking because we're right in the sun. I'm Dude. wearing pants again, it's finally. Too freaking hot. So finally, California. Well, it's cooled down enough to wear pants though. Yeah. You're wearing pants. I'm wearing pants. I don't have to yeah. wear shorts. But the thing is, I needed to wear the pants. I could have worn the shorts and felt more comfortable. But I needed to wear the pants for Florida training. Oh, I have well, to that get makes used sense. to sweating. You look and being dapper uncomfortable. Today. Dapper. Are you going to have like dinner with your grandma? No, or I bought a. I bought a shirt. Yeah. If I was going to have dinner with my grandma, I'd probably just wear. Well, I'd probably wear this actually. Yeah. My grandma's cool. I like to dress. You gotta up. look like sort of nice when you're having dinner. With it's a nice shirt. I bought this shirt yesterday. I was forced to wait in the mall for three or four hours while I was waiting for an appointment to get my iPhone swapped out. And let's check out my lot. Let's look at this. The entrance to Tomorrowland, Disneyland, the original Disneyland castle. Matterhorn, we're going to be doing a lot of vlogs starting the day after tomorrow from Walt Disney World, Magic Kingdom, and all the different parks. So feast your eyes on what Disneyland looks like. I'm giving you a little taste, just like me. For those of you that aren't here every day who watch the Sometimes Vlog to get your dose of Disneyland, here it is. Your dose of Disneyland and your dose of Tyler. Whoa. And your dose of Tyler. Whoa. And your dose of Tyler. Whoa. And your dose of me. And your Well, y'all be here. And the dose Whoa. of Tyler. And your dose of Tyler. So anyway, so I was stuck in them all for three or four hours and oh, I saw yeah. this shirt. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I really like that shirt. Well, yeah. And I thought to myself, self, you can't buy a shirt. I got the sweat mustache going on. You ever yeah. get that? Or do Kinda. you just like sticking your... When you have the actual mustache going on, is it just not... Does it still sweat? It absorbs it. So it's just sort of like, you don't have to wipe it. Like, you don't have to be like, oh man, I'm a sweat Yeah, face. you'd think it'd be like way worse in the heat to have a beard, but it's kind of nice. Like, it just keeps the face fresh. It's yeah. almost like having a towel already on sort your Sort of, yeah. Kind of exactly like Well, that. now I kind of want to... I wish I had a beard of progress. I don't have any beard. 
I don't have any beer either because I can't drink it because of the celiac disease. You need some. I'm sorry if this is what I you need what? some suspenders for this. I know, right? Well, they kind of like a little. American History X if you didn't it's say. a little like almost reminds me of, like a Ben Sherman shirt or something. Oh. Anyway, so I thought to myself, self, you can't afford like a nice shirt. Like, what's a nice yeah. shirt cost? Like, this shirt was forty dollars. That's a lot, dude. For me, that's a fortune. Yeah. But it was there was something wrong with it, like a thread or something, so it was discounted a little bit. Yeah. So it was like thirty dollars. So I was like, all right. Sure, it's thirty dollars. And I try to think to myself. <coughs> let me flip this around. When's the last time I bought something because I liked it, and only because I liked it? I don't know. I couldn't answer the question. I'm sure it's happened, but I really couldn't if answer the question. Not in it, terms of something. Long, yeah. Not in terms of something practical like clothing or whatever. That's also practical, you know. Yeah. So I thought, what's Treat a normal? Yourself. Yeah. What's a normal shirt cost from like Target or something like yeah. seventeen ninety nine? And I'm getting a really nice one that I like with the little things. And I, I went for it, and I'm wearing it, and uh, people are always telling me, man, you can't be guilty, you can't guilt yourself, you know? It's okay to like, it's okay to like stuff, and like get stuff. I so this I, shirt for $12 six okay. years ago, so. Yeah, you see, that's me normally, is yeah. like rocking the shirt I still have, and I have that shirt that I wore in like all those random line videos, that button up shirt oh, that, yeah. that's blue. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, the other way I justify the shirt purchase is I know I'll own this shirt for like 10 years. That's true. Yeah, I know this right. shirt will be in rotation until it rips or is lost. Mine's already ripped. It's just like, Look at it. We'll do that again. It's already ripped. Woo! All over the place. Yeah. Like, let's see some more. Oh, this is like, you can't, so you have to wear that with another shirt. Yeah, like. What's that? What happened there? Were you attacked by a ferocious werewolf? I've just had it for so long, dude. Stuff happens. Where did you see the werewolf? London. I knew it! Yeah. Anyway, look at Tomorrowland. Look at some of these people are very dressed up. Hello! Because they're getting ready for Mickey's Halloween party tonight, which is not called oh, Mickey's Not So Scary. That's, that's not so King scary. Ah, ah, it ah, was actually ah. super cool, man. You would kind of like it, I think. Oh, yeah, but you have to, like, they won't just let me in. What? But why? Well, like, I have an AP, but that's not good enough. Oh, yeah, you gotta have a separate ticket. Somebody actually gave me a ticket. It was actually super nice of them. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was cool. I want a ticket. I'll stuff. get you a ticket if you want to come hang out. Oh, well, I got a traffic ticket. You did? Yeah. Uh, uh for what? Not having a California license. No, how can they can't do that though? Yeah, they can and they did. But if not if you don't have your registered address here, right? Uh I tried that. Got a ticket. Misdemeanor. How did they know though that they could give you a ticket? I told the truth. You know, Tyler, we were just Tyler and I were at lunch earlier and I was discussing the fact and I was talking I was discussing the fact. Yeah. I was talking about this last night on Periscope too that I have been punished way more in my life for telling the truth than ever lying. Yeah. I know you and I were talking about like kind of like we don't lie. Yeah. Or like I was talking about I don't lie. We were sitting at the table talking about how like with very few exceptions of omissions or things you like kind of hid for other people's right. sake. Like you and I always get in trouble for saying the thing that's true. We're most of the time honest to a, to a fault. To, yeah. a, to like a big degree. And yeah. that is exact prime example right there of something that I, can tell, I can't even criticize you for. Because yeah. I would have done the same thing. Like, yeah. I've actually done that when the cop pulls me over and they're like, do you know how fast you were going? And, I, and I'm like, kind of. Like I always, I always end up admitting like, yeah, well, I was going pretty fast. Like, yeah. You know. But now I got to get a California license. Why? You're moving. Well, that's uh, that's get the ticket dropped. But if you're moving back to Georgia, what does it matter? Well, I don't want a warrant in California. Why well, warrants a good man though? You don't want to watch him while you still have the chance. Uh -oh. It took me a minute. That yeah. was not a quip. That was a slope. That was something. It was not good. That was, it was something. not good. Look at Pizza Port. And look at this, we have the old Carousel of Progress Theater, which was a two-story bad boy here. I'm like the one-story one at Walt Disney World, which is weird because in there tomorrow, and this is like kind of where Space Mountain is, and Space oh. Mountain is kind of where that is. Okay. So it's all confusal and heffalump and woozle and all backwards and weird. Now, you've been to Magic Kingdom, right? I have, a bunch yeah. when you were a kid. Yeah, Do you yeah. really remember it, though, at this point? It's been about 15 years since I've been. So you probably remember nothing. Not really. Nothing about it. I remember more from Universal. See, I've never been to Universal out there. What is that like it's, compared to out here? Have you I been mean, to the one out here yet? I have not. Dude, come on, Tyler. Uh, dude, I don't have the money and nobody has bought me a ticket. I'll take you there. I'll go with you. But also, you don't, you're don't. you not a big Hollywood fan. You're not really up that way much. It's not like you're like, I'm in the neighborhood all day, so I might no, as well I go drop to by. Amoeba like once every two months. And that's about it. Yeah. You're not a big fan of Hollywood or the traffic. No, nor neither, are neither, neither, no, yeah. neither is anyone. Yeah. No one's a fan of that traffic. Yeah. Or Hollywood the one to one freeway. Not the best. No, it's not. Look at that, though. Look at this view. I wish the echo spot was open so we could just echo together. Echo! You know? You know what you and I have had? What? 
We have had a lot of adventures together, Tyler. That's absolutely true, yeah. We've had a lot of adventures together in this theme park. That's true, too. So, when you leave here, now I know this is a thing, I've discussed this on Periscope, but you didn't really discuss it in your announcement of leaving. But I've put it out there to people in a gentle way, because you couldn't figure out a gentle way of saying it where it wouldn't yeah. get interpreted wrong. A big part of why you're going is just like, man, I kind of get a, like, a little bit of attention that you don't want. Yeah. Okay, like a yeah. lot, like... People are like, Tyler, like, somebody, didn't somebody just send you a picture of yourself to, like, sign? Yeah, that wasn't a big deal. Nah, but, like, you're kind of like, I just want to be a normal guy. Yeah. I just want to be in my living room. I just want to watch Netflix and not have, like, and, and not, like, be responsible for letting anyone down or, exactly. or having to do anything. Like, it's just stressful for you. That's true. You yeah. find it a little stressful. That's true. So. Oh, accurate. Yeah. So, so, coming here is sometimes when people are like, hey, man, let's take a picture, let's do whatever. Gets a little stressful for you, but I have to ask this question. When you finally leave here, will your memories be stressful or positive? Oh, they'll be positive. Because I have so many good memories here with you, man. Same. Dude, I got a lot of, like, Scooty Putin right here. Oh, yeah, I remember. Some Dapper Day yeah. times. The dance-off. Yeah, the dance-off. Yeah. We've had, that's where I was going. We've had some dance-offs. We have. At some point. More than one. Before you go home. It's too hot to dance right now. Yeah, it's way too hot. We're not dancing right now. Just maybe, like, and that's about it. That's, that's way too it. hot that's, already. That's already too that. much. There's yeah. too much. Why did you do that? Uh, you know, great, good job. I was work. coming out of my feet. Uh huh. I knew that it was wrong. So basically, before you go home, we're gonna have to have a dance off again. Uh, well, At least one. If you're ready to lose. Oh, look at the what? monorail! Shots fired. <laughs> look at this monorail, Tyler. When you look at monorails, there's only one rail. What do you think of in your heart? Bob Gurr. Really? Yeah. What about Bob Barr? Oh, the great senator. Bob Barr from Georgia. Bob yeah. Barr was a presidential candidate. I, I voted for him. I was way I voted for Bob Barr. I was way too young to vote for Bob Barr. You know why I voted for Bob Barr? And I, I hate talking politics, but why I voted for him that year? Why? is Because he came out and said like that all his previous political stuff, hello, was Hi. wrong. And he was like, yeah, before I was completely wrong. I've totally changed my mind. And I like super respected it. Yeah. I've never heard a politician say, hey, the things that I said and did before were wrong and I've changed my mind. I thought that took so much courage. That was, yeah. That I was it's like, a very courageous thing to do. Nobody admits they're wrong not in politics. No, no one ever does. No one ever really admits they're wrong in real life. It's a very rare thing. So that's I'm like, true. that's a rare quality in a guy. I think he's worth a vote since I'm, you know, my vote really didn't count anyways. I yeah. live in a blue state. It didn't matter. I've never voted for anyone who either won an election or came in second place. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. Woohoo! High five! Woo. I like to vote for like weird candidates or write me in too. like Yoda and stuff. Because California, you know exactly who's getting voted for every time in big yeah. elections. So you can just, you can sort of play, you can have fun with it. Same in Georgia, time. yeah. You can have a good time with it. Vote with your conscience and your feet. Yeah, or have fun with it because your vote doesn't matter. Yes, look at this. They set this up for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party right Near, right smoking area adjacent is this frozen photo op. I kind of want to get a picture in that thing with you if if we can get at it. All right. So let's see. We're seeing if we can get at this. See, this is a block. There's no safety net here. There's no plan B. This is all happens as it happens when these unedited style blocks. All right, let's get in here. Okay. You get in on that side. On this side. And I'll get in on this side. Okay. And but should we sit? Let's we'll sit on the bench. We're in Snowerland! We did it! We did it! Snowerland. All right! Did you guys like it? Did you think it was good? Missile foot! Missile foot! Now, people keep thinking it's like missile foot. No, it's like missile, a rocket missile foot. Yeah, mistletoe. He said something Christmassy like garland or missile foot. Yeah. If you've never seen it, go Google Frozen <laughs> as told by Tyler Evans. Yeah, there's a lot there's, of great there's some fan cartoon videos, versions too. of it that are yeah. amazing. Better than what we did. If and I can't to, wait uh, to do more things like that. Peter Pan? It's Peter Pan. That is the real Peter Pan. And I am about 35% sure. 36. 36. Okay, look at this. Here we go. We're walking towards into fantasy land. Towards into. Towards into. Towards into fantasy land. And here we have our huge. Actually, we gotta walk this way. Walk this way, bow, 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 talk this way. Just give me a kid. Look at their monorail. Super weird. Not gonna be seeing those futuristic monorails. Pretty soon I'm gonna be seeing those big white boats they call monorail at Walt Disney World. No, Disney World has those big white ones that are yeah. like 
They're like legit trains. Like, oh, wow. Their seating area, you can stand up in them, like all Crazy. the way. Like, I can't even stand up straight in no, this monorail. I it's can't like either. a toy. I'm really short. But this, look at this. Disney World, I don't know if you remember. No. Disney World, Small World is all indoors. Oh. Like the facade is like inside of basically your average size CVS. Oh wow. It's like a real small facade, like kind of like lower down yeah. and the boats still go through it and all that, but it's inside. Is the ride length for them? No, it's, uh, it's actually, I think shorter. If it's not shorter though, it's all smaller. Oh, shorter thank God for that. It's very weird, man. Wait, what? Oh yeah, That's Tyler true. doesn't like it's small world. I forgot who I was talking to for one yeah. minute. Forgot you don't like the, the world. Well, I like some parts of the world, just not the small world. Just not a big fan of small world. Well, you get, you get the anxiety. You don't like being stuck on a boat that's going that slow, surrounded by other boats going that slow, yeah. in a place you can't get out of while For people are singing to you. Yeah. The uh, same you don't even thing, like it when loop. I do that to you in a car on a road trip. That's you don't true. like it when I'm like, it's a friendship after all. <laughs> Luckily, you don't do that. It's a friendship. Whoa! I just ripped your pants. You did, dude. After all, I slept on your pants. It's you jerk. <laughs> After all, and I ripped your trousers. That sounds really there? weird when I say I ripped your pants. It sounds like I just like tried to rip off like a pocket or something. Why are we going into Two Town? But we're not going into Two Town. I just wanted to show like the sort of side angle of its small world. So let's go over here. Look at, I don't know what she said, but it sounded amazing. Look at this. This is what Tyler doesn't like. Imagine that inside the ride. It's just the part he doesn't like or appreciate. Some people don't like it's a small world, man. It's like a love-hate thing. But look at her. Our It's a Small World is massive, multi-layered, and a train It's going to stop there. Our Disneyland Railroad actually drives through the facade of this attraction. It is really impressive. I wish we had time to wait the entire time for that train to start moving again through it so you can see how impressive it is. But I feel like there's plenty of pictures and photos of it online. Oh, let's yeah. get out of the sun. Ooh. It's too freaking hot, man. Ooh, it's been very hot. Dude, we haven't seen very much of you, man. What have you been up to lately? A lot of people ask me questions about you, and I know you're trying to remain more and more anonymous, but you ain't yeah. back in Georgia yet, buddy. Whoa. You're not back in Georgia yet, buddy. I've been working. Uh huh. Um, you know, I work full time, and then I've been working on some uh, writing projects uh -huh. and uh, do a little stand up comedy. Oh, stuff like that. you still doing stand up comedy? I am. Yeah. Have you been doing like still like on a weekly basis, like open mic nights and stuff? Yeah. I haven't seen you do it, dude, since like kind of the very beginning, man. I haven't said anything about it to anyone, or I've just been going. And Are you gonna it. let me see it when I come back? Yeah. Sure. You're gonna let us see it one time before you move to Georgia. Yeah. Like at least one vlog. I'm thinking about record it one time. Let me record it legit that. with the camera and everything. No. Just one time. No. Oh, come on. One set. One no. time. Use your old material you know you're not going to use anymore. That's even worse. Oh, come you on. You don't want man. there to be a presence that's built off of something you're not even proud of. Anymore. That's fair. You know what? That's completely fair. This is the one reason I don't like Small World area because most of the area leading up to it is used as a parade ground. Yeah. So it gets very loud with music and announcements every two seconds, as you can see. But we're going to move on into Fantasyland. Proper. Oh, sound sensational parade is about to start. I'm thinking though about letting people know if I do stand up on my birthday. Thinking about letting people know about it then. Oh, November? Yeah. Look at this guy. Punk. We used to be How long like has it been since we've seen a punk? I mean, a while. I mean, I see you every, like, so often, so we've seen punks. Only in my heart still, though. Yeah, but of course, but of course. See, if you're, if you're too old to be punk, then you probably were. Yeah. Punk. I showed a bunch of people at work like a picture of me in the punk days with like, the leather jacket and the hair and they yeah. were like, what were you thinking? And I was like, I don't know. I almost bought a leather jacket yesterday. Did you? Was it a punk? The only, yeah, like, like a motorcycle jacket because oh, wow. I really like those jackets but I, and now they make them longer because yeah. they're making them for fashion, not for motorcycles. Oh, yeah, they used to be and they used to be like all up yeah. here and, I, and that was the only thing I kind of liked. Some already long. You know, I'm a pretty yeah. tall, long guy It looks anyway. punk when it's there. But, yeah, yeah, it looks punk. But I was like, I want to buy another leather jacket and then I didn't. For not only the reason that it was kind of expensive because it was made of real leather, but also... You left that face behind, man. All, no, not that, that. Oh. It's just that it's hot, bro. Oh, it is too hot, yeah. Like it's 95 degrees right now. It's too hot for me to be punk anymore. It's too hot to be punk today. It's yeah. too hot to look punk. Yeah. It's never too hot to be punk. Too hot to be punk. It means so many different things. Who can say what it means? Who wrote the rules? Who is in charge of the punk rock rule book? Okay, so here we go. We have one Dumbo. Carousel Castle. Can't even see our castle when you're standing behind the carousel. Let's walk in front of the carousel and then out this way. We have a blues plan here because Tyler has places to be. And I have to go pack up all of my luggage, all of my camera stuff, 
and I'm trying to figure out when the world I'm going to film. There's been a lot of dramatic obstacles in yeah. my week That'll preventing me from making any kind of solid plans and being as prepared as I want to be. Yeah. You should be my uh, Chloe. No. Kardashian? No, you know how like Jack Bauer would call and be like, yo, I think her name was Chloe. I never saw Let's 24. Let's just say her name was like Kim, me neither. Yeah. That's why I don't know for sure what her name was. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, Kim lady. Yeah, Kim Possible. Kim Possible. You got to get on the horn with command and Jack like Bauer. and like google whether or not this stuck you sell steak fries why wouldn't you just you say know? i should be your barbara gordon you should be my barbara gordon man you should be my oracle look at this there's our castle there in our little courtyard in fantasy land and then you have dark rides on this side dark rides on that side king arthur's sword in the stone oh, nice. and our king arthur's carousel right here I can't remember what the carousel at Walt Disney World is called. See, there's things like that that I'm not as familiar with. I know that they had a different Mr. Toad than ours. They had two yeah. tracks. I know that they took out a lot of the dark rides, blah, 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 blah. I know things about Walt Disney World. I'm not completely ignorant. But there's a lot I'm still learning and memorizing and discovering about that place, which is why I think this time when I go, the videos are going to be a lot more like, wow, look at this. Yeah. For us, people who aren't super familiar with Walt Disney World, either because you haven't been in 15 years, or because you live in California, you're more familiar with Disneyland. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you went once when you were five and you really want to know, like, what's it like there today? What's there? As an it'll, adult. It'll be more general, but I'm not going to stop going back. Right. As long as people continue to support on Patreon right. and buy shirts and as long as I don't have to, you know, work at the docks. Yeah, working in the coal mine. Like dude. Rocky or yeah. whatever, or in the coal mine. As long as I don't have to move to uh, West Virginia and work at a coal mine. I don't see any reason why I'm going to stop making videos at Disney World or Disneyland. You have to be in some pretty dire streets if your only option was moving to West Virginia to work in a coal mine. What if you just really liked coal, though? I don't know if coal is anyone's hobby. Wait, what did you just say? I don't know if coal is anyone's hobby. No, nah, but I mean, some people marry him. I, I but that's uh, weird. Right. I tried to do a joke with the name. That was coal. another, what did you call him before? A uh, slope? Yeah, it wasn't a quip, it was a slope. It's one of those jokes you have to explain. And I think the rule of thumb is, unless the explanation is funny, how's it going, man? Unless the explanation is funny, yeah. I think the good rule of thumb for comedy is, if you have to explain it, it's not good. I agree with that most of the time. Like when people say something that's really clever and goes over your head, yeah. and you're like, what? And then they explain it to you, like, you idiot. And then you're like, well, but you just made a joke if I had to explain it to the room. Uh, uh, you know. Sometimes it is funny, but yeah. Yeah, but if I was like, oh, you medulla oblongata, you'd be like, what? Yeah. What's the word for that if something's funnier to a bigger audience? Uh, pandering. No, but yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Big Thunder Ranch. Let's walk in it. Uh, you don't have any... Too hot. Of... What? It's too hot. Well, it has shade. Look, Big Thunder oh, Trail is all sun and this has shade. That's, that's the whole reason I did it, Tyler. <laughs> don't make me look lazy. Look at this guy. Now, Tyler, I was looking at this guy last night. Take a picture of this guy. And the guy behind me here. This guy's singing a tune. And this guy across is like... Oh, Jake Skilling. That him. actually really looks like me. Doesn't that look like a pose I would make? Like, kind of. Honestly, kind of like when I'm being, like, you know, when I'm, you know, when I'm doing that thing. Yeah, I know what you do. I know what it is. But uh, right people now. were trying to... Yeah, Jake Skellington, I like that. People were trying to say, to caption these, I want to hear your captions. First, as a guy from the South who likes Johnny Cash, who's sort of acoustical music. He likes some outlaw country as well. Waylon yeah. Jennings. And Wu, who's not outlaw country, but you like it. Well, he is outlaw country. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Duh. Okay. Well, then it worked. Um, and also, you like Hank Williams. Yeah. And such. And Hank Hill. I do. What like What do you think? What is your caption of this? Just off the top of your head. Just off the cuff. What do you think this guy is doing? Thoughts. Oh, okay. I was not prepared. I wasn't trained for That's this. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Just okay. thoughts. Give me your thoughts. All right. Give me a minute. He's got very short legs, I'd just like to point out. Yeah. Like, um, I never noticed this, but like, he's got like uncomfortably short legs. It's like a, this is not very funny, uh -huh. but it's cornstalk pone. Cornstalk pone? What's that mean? You know, like corn pone? Yeah. But it's like a cornstalk. It's, like like corn corn pone. Pone. it's not very funny. No, I don't get it. What do you think this guy's doing though? What do you think this guy's thinking to himself? Okay. That's where I really wanted to start, but I just thought maybe there'd be something over there. But what is this guy, what's he doing? Like, he got frozen like this, so he was in the middle of doing, saying, and thinking something. What was it? I think that he was doing an impression of uh, Johnny Depp as Jack Sparrow, as told by Tim Burton. That's not what I expected. 
but and then he was flash frozen. But like a jack o' lantern scarecrow guy with really stubby legs doing a jack sparrow and then got frozen. Jack o' lantern sparrow. Jack o' lantern sparrow. Jack o' lantern. Jack o' lantern sparrow. Sparrow. Yeah. Boom. Jack Sparrowington. No, 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 you had it. I ruined it. Let's go. Big Thunder Barbecue is leaving about the same time as you are. You haven't a fixed yourself a date. No. I'm assuming close. that you have some sort of lease or something with Adam and the whole thing. Oh, November's my last month. Okay, November's your last month. So and we have a month to month. Lease. Are you leaving in December or you don't know? You might. I'm leaving. You're probably gonna be gone November by Christmas. 20th -ish. Okay, so you're gonna cut out basically by December. So we're right. This is what's really hard to bear about this, okay? Mm -hmm. Not only are, do I lose your presence, I really thought that was a person sitting in there, and I was gonna be like, dude, what you doing, bro? Don't creep on me, bro. <laughs> Don't creep on me, bro. That would've been weird. We're gonna lose you, but then on January 10th will be the very last day of operation for all this stuff back to Nyah. Forever? And we're gonna lose all Nyah. Oh, is this gonna be yeah. Star Wars land? All this right here is going to be Star Wars land, or in, close enough to it that this is all going to be changed. By yeah. November 2030? Uh, well, yeah, by November 2030. Definitely. Yeah. So this will all be gone. So this oh, is kind can of. Can we a, bust the myth? Interesting. Yeah, let's bust the myth. What myth? If you go up to these guys and say Andy's coming, they're not going to They're not gonna follow you. No. Nah. I don't no. know why that got started. Would you want to yell at it? No, because it's just not going to work. No, just I try feel it. like a jerk because the guy's just inside of his head. We've tried it before. Yeah. You're just going to take our word for it. But it doesn't do anything. Sometimes, actually, if you're lucky, the uh, Woody and Jesse characters, uh, if they're just standing there like that, will freeze. Yeah. But they never, I never saw them yeah, drop to the ground ever. I think that kind of happened one or two times. A really People funny, took pictures cool and, cast yeah. member did it. People took pictures and it spread from there online. The other thing is, even if they had done it every time, once something becomes a meme like that, they have to stop doing it. Yeah, or that's all So we busted doing. the pickle miss, if you ever heard of the pickle miss, if you haven't Google it, we busted the pickle miss on the mm -hmm. vlog. And now we just busted that one for you. Look at these guys. What do you think this guy is thinking about? Is that that's a lady cowboy pumpkin. Yeah. And that's a man a man version. Hank and Audrey. Oh I like that. Hepburn. Yeah. Hepburn. Yeah. Hill and Audrey Hepburn. Nope. But yeah. Yeah. We got it. We nailed it. We nailed it. He's got a bouquet of flowers and he's like I just went out and bought these work gloves yeah. and I picked these flowers from over here sneakily. That's why there's no flowers here, but there's flowers here and here. Yeah. He picked these from here and he's going to try and give those flowers to her as if he had prepared. Right. But I yeah. think, I don't know, I think this lady might be like, sorry bro, somebody else gave me flowers in a more elaborate bucket style configuration, which I hid behind my back. Because I didn't want you to know that I was talking to Joe Pumpkin and and he didn't want her to know that he was lazy and forgot to get her flowers. This girl is like a sorority girl at Texas A&M who just went full pumpkin spice. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it. Look at this. There's a little ranch house over here. Hello, sir. He's not the ranch house. That's not his name. Look at this. This is new. They didn't have this last year. There's a poisoned apple being cooked in there. That's a very scary Halloween party. Do you effect. know where you can find these though? Not here. Hello, sir. You know where else you can find these besides Disneyland is poisoned Applebee's. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh this one's my favorite. She's terrifying. Every yeah. year they put her back there and she terrifies me. Although usually she's not in this weird position. This is a little, this is strange. Wood Let's pumpkin. get in here with her. Wood pumpkin? Wood pumpkin. Wood pumpkin. Let's do it. Let's take a picture right here. I took a picture with my phone at the same time as I did that. I'm gonna post it on Twitter if that's okay with you. Why do you, do you use Twitter? Uh, sparingly. Sparingly? Tyler Brett's with Tit Evans? Yeah, B R E T. -T's? That's nice. It's I like my Twitter. Instagram name as well. It's hot, man. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you all on the vlog. It's really hot. But we're walking around. We're not done yet. Mm -hmm. We're gonna continue our loop and then we're gonna go down Main Street, go home, or sleep well. Yeah. So the thing is, even though it's hot and even though we're tired and we're only halfway through this, we can't have a cow. Oh. We just shouldn't have a cow. It's like, get out of here, cow. We can't have you. Uh oh, that cow is mad dogging me. That cow was mad cowing me. Yeah, that cow's not soaked. Remember mad cow disease? Yeah. I remember. Do you remember how scary that was? Yeah, like, do any of you guys remember mad cow disease? Like, yeah. and it was like, oh, don't, don't go down to the beef store. Wasn't that like 20 years ago, though? I don't even remember when that was, but it was like, don't go to Carl's Jr., you might get mad cow disease. And it was like, I think that only happened to like a couple cows in England. In England, yeah. 
I think maybe um, one or two in the United States got it at one point. Yeah, I don't but wasn't really. it because they were feeding cows cows? I think so, and I don't think England outsources like I don't think they ship their cows. Yeah, I don't to the think US. we I don't think we buy a lot of beef yeah. from England. I don't think we need to. Yeah, I don't think we import a lot. Excuse me, Mr. Ma'am Cow. What's the what's the proper way to address a lady cow? Uh Bessie. Excuse me, Miss Bessie. Bill Hip. Pretty sure that's a lady, right? That's not a dude. I don't really know. Sometimes you can't tell. Bill Hip. Hey! Oh. You what you doing? That was just that cow is, just doesn't like it. It's just not being friendly. Not a fan. Whoa, just flipped up the tail. Flip this off. That too. cow prefers fresh baked, doesn't it? Yep. Well, we'll leave you to it then. Yep. You like fresh baked and uh, that's your jam. It's fine. Sarah from Fresh Baked, this is your job. Now. Yep, Sarah from Fresh Baked, that's your. That's now your cow. Hi, Gene. Hi, Hi Gene. Hi. So here we go, back down the old dusty trail, big thunder trail on the old west. Now Tyler, you and I have driven across the American Southwest. How do you feel? What's your favorite region? Not, I mean, you're gonna say the South. Okay, that's home. Yeah. Cut out home from it. I What's can't your say favorite the region? Southeast. Is that still your favorite region? Would you think like yeah. all Florida, Mississippi, Tennessee? Absolutely, yeah. So that's your favorite region. Okay, yeah. well, aside from home, where else? Because you've been to New York and you've been to. Uh, out here and the stuff. northeast would probably be the next one I would like to visit. You just like all the forested type of areas, yeah. or like you just like the old school, like the East Coast sort of well, there's, vibe. There's or... way more history on the East Coast than the West. It's not your that fault. That is one thing that I really do like. Yeah, about just, the we East Coast. First. Yeah, is that there's a lot of history and it's very close together. Yeah. Where here I have to go out to do vlogs or do filming, and I've got to drive like eight, nine hours yeah. a day, and then tramp out into the wilderness to like go get some mining town. Where in the East yeah. Coast it's like, you know, big deal. Whoa! There's our Big Thunder Mountain, which goes in a reverse like way than the other Big Thunder Mountain. A little smaller and a little narrower, and I think a little faster, but I could be wrong. I don't really care too much for like the Midwest or the Southwest or anything like that. I like the Midwest a lot. I like the Southwest a lot, but it, it, it is all very spaced out. Yeah. The East Coast definitely has the advantage of going from spot to spot. Bam, 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 bam. I think bam. it's mostly, not all the way, but mostly prettier on the East Coast, too. There's a lot more vegetation. Yeah. So you'll cross through different areas of terrain a lot faster, where like, out here, you go through a desert and it looks the same for yeah. hours. Hundreds of miles, yeah. Hours and hours, that's interesting. I think my favorite region, I don't know, it would be really hard for me to say a favorite, because as soon as I want to say like, oh, I really like the forest and like the south, I like the south a lot. I really yeah. like the, um, like in down Louisiana, where you yeah. get like the Spanish moss, Cajun country and you and get that, like the yeah. swamps and all that. But then I think, as soon as I think that, I think, well, I also really like Death Valley. But I really like the Sierra Nevadas and like pine trees and yeah. redwoods and stuff. I just stuff. don't like the desert. I've never been a fan. Yeah, you don't like the desert. Yeah. Like you're I've not tried a big it. fan I've given of it like the college try and honest shake. I just don't like it. Yeah, you're not like a big guy. You're not <laughs> one of those guys who's like, I'm going to Arizona. No. Like you're not a fan. No, not at all. Mostly because you don't like being hot. That's true. You don't like the sun. That's a hundred percent. You true. don't like sand. That's true. Cacti? You a fan of them? I'm indifferent to cacti. Like so, like for example, if you went back to Georgia, well, when you go back to Georgia, if I were to show up one day, and as a gift, I gave you a, a pot with like assorted cacti. Yeah. In it, like as you do, like just a, a typical thing that a guy would give another guy. Right. Like a pot of cacti. I'm gonna get a water. Oh, oh yeah, go ahead. You get a yeah. water. Would you enjoy the pot of cacti I'd or keep would you it reject up. my offering? No, I'd keep it. Okay, you buy water, I'm gonna show some things. But here's our big Thunder Mountain Railroad. You enter over Nya, you go down a little windy trail, you see the old fictional town, excuse me, of Rainbow Ridge up here, and then you board this little platform and ride into the old west. Someday I'm gonna do a very good Thunder versus Thunder video or vlog. Look how tall these trees have gotten. They've sort of obscured, but basically you walk down here in a little trail that you can see that dinosaur, you know, where the train splashes by, and you loop kind of back around and up into this loading platform. Not very elaborate. Walt Disney World's Big Thunder Trail, way more elaborate, or Big Thunder Mountain, excuse me, way more elaborate, a lot more, there's a lot more queue to it. Our queue lines are usually very short and very plain, very simple, like this is part of the queue here. Not very long, not very long, but here is one thing we have which I shall always adore, which is the double piped Mark Twain Riverboat and Tyler Evans Rock Trails. Although I think you East Coasters are getting Tyler pretty soon to yourselves. You gonna go to Disney World, guy? Not for a while. You think? 
You're not gonna be, see, you know what it is, is you've gotten more Disney in the last year and a half, thanks to me, than you probably ever wanted to have or I've expected to, to have. I've times in the last Yeah, year. You, you got more Disney in the last year and a half, two years, than you probably ever expected to even have for a life. In 10 lifetimes. Or wanted to even. Yeah. And, That's fair. but I kind of think though, I kind of think, even though right now you're like, yeah, it's really not that special to me right now. I really think once you go back to Georgia, you're gonna be there for like six months and be like, I'm kind of getting a hanker for some Disneyland. I can see that, yeah. You're gonna be like, dude, I really have a hanker to ride Pirates of the Caribbean. I can just fly out here though, if that's the case. Well, you're gonna fly out here, right? We're not gonna No, stop. I'm not gonna not come back. We're not gonna stop being friends. Of course you're not. going to Georgia, yeah. right? I'll fly you out here. I offered, uh, uh, you're not the first person I've offered playing tickets to in the last week, you know? Nice. I'll fly you down here. I'm sure one of our cast member friends might be able to sign I'm me sure in. these people would help us fly you out here to do stuff if you're interested. But I know you're going home to figure that out. Yes. So you're going to figure all that out. So here we go. Rivers of America. Haunted Mansion over there. We're not going quite that far. I apologize for the wind. You might be surprised to learn this, Tyler, but my powers don't actually extend to controlling the weather yet. But look at our true? look at our Rivers of America. Very different. At Walt Disney World, if you were looking past Tom Sawyer's Island's foot head thing, you'd see Big Thunder, Splash Mountain, and then over here, you'd see the Haunted Mansion and Liberty Square, and Frontierland would be over here. It's very different, laid out different. And they have a very, very different steamboat. They have the Liberty Bell there. Oh yeah? That's only one pipe. Like it's really, to me, because I grew up with this and I'm used to this, it's like weird looking. It's a legit steamboat design. Mark Twain even uh, piloted many steamboats that had the one pipe. Yep. But I, to me, forever, this is entrenched in my brain, burned in my brain as like what a steamboat looks like. I really you know, want to take a real ride on a real steamboat sometime. They don't go far though. The yeah. few that are exist don't go far. Actually, here's I'm putting this out there. If anybody out there knows of a good Mississippi River steamboat or other big river, it's got to be a pretty big, beefy American river that has a steamboat that you can travel on like a multi-day trip? Mm. Let us know. That'd be cool. You would go on a steamboat trip with me, wouldn't you? Yeah, Come on, man. Sure. Like that you would go on, right? Yeah. Especially if you were in the south or something. I doubt there's multi-day trips though. Multi-day what? Well, I doubt there's multi-day trips. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I can't see that happening anymore. But it would, wouldn't it be cool to like go old school, sleep on board a steamboat? Look at this. Hello, everybody. Look at all these Mark Twain fans. I'm glad you also like to read Huckleberry Finn. It is one of my favorite novels. Have you ever read The Innocents Abroad? It is also good. All right, let's continue walking. Those guys weren't the friendliest Mark Twain fans. No, so you've read a Twain <coughs> or two. I've read a Twain or two, yeah. <coughs> you haven't gone as full Twain as I wanted you to go. I will. I'm always trying to encourage my friends to go full Twain. I think once you get back to Georgia and you have a little more time on your hands, was, you'll probably do a lot yeah, more reading than, I certainly you, will. than you do nowadays. I read really it. fast. I just you never have, read. People don't know this about you, but you have one of those soul sucking jobs. Oh, 100%. Like, you have a job that's so soul-sucking that I asked you to come out here yesterday, and you were like, no, man, because people from my work are there, and I just, I don't. Yep. You don't want to think about work when you're not working. Like, yep. you have one of those jobs. And you don't want to make the leap to doing anything else out here because right. you want to go home. Exactly. So you're right now, you're just sort of stuck with the soul-sucking job. Yeah, and I'm going to put in my two weeks notice though. in about four weeks. Though, Are you stoked, so. though? Oh, that's going to be amazing. Oh, will you film it? You should film it. Periscope? Not, not yes. It won't and be very save exciting. It. Oh, no, I want, not for us it won't be, but for you. It's You'll not, know. It's not going to be dramatic. I'm just going to go over and be like, hey, guys, I'm going to be like, oh, okay. I wanted to do tree versus tree, but I couldn't film this tree yet because part of this tree house has been closed. This used to be Swiss Family Robinson tree house. If you've never seen the random land about it, go back and find... Uh, Swiss Family Robinson Terror Treehouse, something like that. I can't remember what it was called. I did a random land about this tree, youtube.com slash live fast night for. Walt Disney World still has Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. Yeah. And theirs is like situated like back on an island all by itself. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's pretty bangerang. Like even though I'm afraid of the heights and I don't like going up there and I don't like holding cameras up where it's high because I get vertigo, I'm gonna brave that tree and film it because I it's freaking awesome. I would love to live awesome. in a place that looked just like this. Even, that, even with the heights? Yeah, you know what that would be amazing. Are you like uh, afraid of heights though? Not really. I feel like there's heights and then there's heights you're used to. Yeah. If, if I get used to a place that's up high, like I'm used to Disneyland parking garage roof, I don't freak out by being right. up there anymore. I used to get really dizzy up there. Now I don't get dizzy as long as I don't go like right to the edge or something. Right, I'm okay. Because I'm used to it. Yeah. So I think if I had a house and a tree house, the first week would be all panic attacks and sickness and dizziness. I'd probably have to come down and sleep on the ground the first right. couple yeah, nights. Yeah, of course. 
But I think after a while I'd get used to it and then I probably would enjoy it as well. Yeah, I think it'd be really cool and it would look dope. It would look so. So. Would you live in a tree house? Yeah. Of course everyone's gonna say yes. Why would they say no? Yeah. But think about this. Riddle me this, Batman. If you live in a tree house, you have to park your car down here and then climb upstairs minimum every you can day. Figure out a pulley system. Yeah, maybe, but you're not building an elevator. I'm gonna say elevators are off limits. Okay. If you live in a tree house and you have an elevator and you're not and you don't need it because of some sort of like wouldn't have to be stairs, you can build a series of ramps. If your legs work and yeah. you can do stairs and you have an elevator, you're cheating. Well, you could do ramps though, so you don't have to walk upstairs. But then what's the point then? Just you build mean? your house on the ground. You take the boys well, no, because you want it to be up high and cool. Yeah, but to me, part of the benefit of... Let's go this way really quick. Part of the benefit of the treehouse, the whole point of the treehouse is that you're up high. Right. And no one can get to you. Uh-huh. So like, okay, so I went to this Chinese temple in Oroville once. I put it, uh, it was in the vlog. Right. I went to another one in Marysville, California. Also in the vlog, uh, if you go back to the sometimes vlog. And I learned that they have those circular doorways and they have those lips to their doorways because in ancient China, and still some parts of modern China, they believe that evil spirits can't bend their knees. Really? So they just come straight into stuff. And they that's can... why in China they have a real problem with like wheelchair ramps and stuff. Yeah. Because they don't, they want there to be some sort of lip on the doorway so that you can't just let the evil spirits, they can't bend they their can knees. They can be resurrected from the afterlife through evil and spread terror, but they can't bend their knees. But they can't bend their knees, no. Oh, well, everybody's got to like, have their Like, it kryptonite. might show up looking like your ancestor, which are the good spirits in China. Yeah. But then actually it stands at the doorway and you're thinking, well, why don't you come in, Grandma? And when grandma doesn't come in, Cause it's because she can't bend her knees. She had arthritis. She just can't step over the threshold, you see? The oh. threshold had the power. Well, my thing is, if you're gonna, it has nothing to do with that or spiritualism, so I have no reason why I was talking about right. that. But if you live in a treehouse, part of it is that you're like that defense. Your cousins, right? You can pull up the ladder or something. Mm. Or like you have stairs at least, so you can roll a boulder down it or maybe pour like hot boiling oil. Look at this. Down the stairs. So if you just get ramps, bro. You can roll a boulder down a ramp more easily. <laughs> Stop it with your logic, okay? Stop it with your logic. <laughs> just, <saying>. just listen. <laughs> but stairs, it seems like it'd be easier to push people down the stairs than like you can get them. I guess. I mean, you can have stairs. I just don't want stairs. So you, but what are you gonna do with a ramp, though? I don't understand why you're living in a tree and building ramps. Well, I don't want to walk up the stairs. I want to walk up a ramp. If you ever walked up a ramp versus stairs, it's way easier. And what if you have a buddy in a wheelchair that comes over? Boom. He can't. Well, if you have a buddy else. in a wheelchair, you're allowed to have the elevator. That's the one. But if you use the elevator, you'd be a poser. I live in a treehouse. I have a whole Tarzan lifestyle, but then you don't. Well, you're a you poser if you have stairs. You need just a step ladder. Well, that's what I'm saying. Ideally, you have a ladder. Yeah. But how are you going to get your couch up the ladder? So you need stairs. They're just not always accessible. It'd be easier if you had a ramp to get that couch up there. Or maybe you shouldn't have a couch if you live in a tree unless you built it out of wood. Well, who wants to sleep on a wooden couch? None of my friends. It's, yeah. None of my friends. Happy birthday, Jay! None of my friends. Happy birthday, Daniel! Look at all these birthdays walking by. That's weird. They were hanging out together. They knew they were birthday buddies. Probably. Alright, let's continue the walk. I need to go purchase some more Power of the Cobra bracelets. Yeah, that's what because you tell I'm me. going to Walt Disney World. You're going to give them away as gifts? I always end up giving them away to little kids. Like yeah. if little kids come up to me and they're like, how are the Cobra? And they don't have one. I usually give it yeah. away. And uh, so... Right. Yeah, you don't have one now. Looks like I don't have one now. I have one on my couch at home. Mm. But I wanted to wear this cool watch that this girl McKenna gave me. It was like really nice of her. She gave me a cool Darth... Look at it. It's got Darth Vader on it. And I was like, I got to wear it sometime. Like, I, don't really know, cool. I quit wearing a watch. Yeah. Because I got a thing on my phone all oh, the time. Oh, that's so the pretty same much, thing. Yeah, for getting Sarah Marshall style. Yeah. But I was like, I want to wear this watch a little bit sometimes. Somebody went through the trouble giving you a nice watch. You got to wear it. Yeah. And I was like, I'm wearing the shirt. Might as well. I've never worn a watch. It's very popular with people in my generation to get these big watches. This lady has a wallet on her wrist. It's like a watch. You have like a wallet watch. It's all my stuff. That's kind of amazing. Like that is way cooler than a fanny pack. If anyone's ever thinking about buying me a fanny pack, buy me that instead. That looks better. That is amazing. It is amazing. Yes. Tyler, also, you're amazing. Thank you. Just wanted to I'm say that about a you. Human fanny pack. Walk too fast. <laughs> you what? Oh, I thought we were saying fanny packs are amazing. So I'm no a human fanny pack. Fanny pack. It, no, I don't want it. Look at this hippie lady. Are you YouTube? Yeah. Yes. How many followers? Uh, Twelve. Twelve. Thousand. 
You should go tell her about the channel. No. Okay. Tyler doesn't want to be friendly. I want to be more friendly to her when we catch up with her. You see the same people at Disneyland every five minutes. Unlike Walt Disney where a lot of people are like, dude, you just walked away from that lady. Well, it's really hot and we have things to do and Tyler wants to go and I can't hold him up. But also, I'll see that lady about five more times between here and the exit of the park. That's the way Disneyland works. The only time you don't find someone in Disneyland is when you're looking for them. Look at these alternate stuff. Now I feel like we're rude and I'm going to feel guilty. See, these are the, no, these are the false cobras. But dude, I don't these think... These are the evil cobras. Wait, what? I didn't lie to that lady. We have 12 subscribers. That's true. Thousand, bro. We'll double it at six. We got more than 12,000, but... Hit 12,000? What are you guys doing? Double it at six at ten. I was putting... I put this out on Twitter today, and I was saying, I think I made a mistake, because I feel like I'm the only guy, at least that I know, who my internet persona... Yeah. Is it's just, just my... Real it's life. just me. Yeah. And, uh, like, am I that different? I mean, other than, like, you know, I don't swear in videos or something, so, but in real life, I might use a swear, or, or we might make a joke about yeah. something that we wouldn't make in right. a vlog or on something, like, because it would be in front of children. Uh -huh. You know, you know, you use your inside voice. I remember. I know. Other right. than that type of stuff, Yeah. is there really any difference between me here and real life? I don't think there is, no. I don't think there's much of a difference for you. So, there, well, kind of. Kind of. Kind of. You're like, you're on your bed. You're like at a friend's mom's house on the vlog. Yeah, I'm more snarky than I would be at a friend's mom's house, but yeah. Yeah, you're more snarky in real life than you are, though, in the vlog. Right, I'm usually not as animated with the things I say in real life. No, you hold a lot more still. Yeah. But you have a good time, though. I do. But you're not a different person. Like, you're still the same nice guy. Yeah, I'm, like, totally different, but exactly the same. Like, shades. But I'm just not different. Yeah. Well, I realized, like, did I make a mistake? Like, everybody else has this cool persona they can put on, but then they get to go home, and it comes off, and they get to, like, have a private life that's different. Right. You know what and I mean? I have, like, this one life that bleeds out into yeah, other people's lives. this is lives. your life, yeah. Yeah! You know what is I Is that a mistake? No. I feel like I might have done something wrong there. Like, if someone were to make a movie about my life, the person playing me and how they played me is, like, how I am in the videos. Right. And me in real life is how I am in real life. I'm going to figure that out later eventually. It makes sense. These okay. guys get it. Okay. Well, anyway, I just feel like I made a mistake because you can go home from work and who you are at work is totally different from who you are on any video. Yeah. yeah you're just like, this guy is like, okay. I'm really grumpy and I'm still funny at work. Don't talk but, to me. Yeah, you're yeah. still a funny guy, but you're just like, all right, kid yeah. soulless. Yeah. Corporate victim. And then you come to the not that and you're not that. But what I'm saying is you can go home and you're done with that for the day. That's true. But when you just have one, that's it. Yes. You don't have, a, you can't take a break. I try to go on a vacation and I realize all I'm doing is not vlogging. Every time I say I'm going to take a day off, I end up doing Instagram, Snapchat, whatever, because that's just what I want to do because that's just me. You like doing it. But I realized, how can you ever take a vacation when that's the situation? Well, you can't take a vacation for yourself. Yeah. No, exactly. I've right. tried. Mm -hmm. I tried to get another apartment so I wouldn't have to live with myself. <laughs> but it didn't work. That's pretty funny, actually. Well, there you go. You're welcome. There I think I stole that joke from the Muppets. Like, well, kind of. It's a no lot. one knows. It's a chain, There's There's a chain of custody there. TM. It's fine. Um, I'm gonna buy some Power of the Code bracelets. Are you? Yeah. You're not known for that. Um, um, let's go poke through the bazaar so I can show people what the front of the tiki room looks like and then we can say we made a loop all the way back out to the hub. Oh, that's cool. We'll end the vlog. We'll come back. We'll buy some Power of the Code bracelets. Like channel, Thank, you. Thank you. I'm gonna buy you a soda. Uh oh. Or whatever you want. An water. iced tea, a water. You want a water? Yeah. yeah, you already have water. What happened to your water? I drank it. Did you drink the whole water on the vlog? Yep. You hung out with me, you came to Disneyland, even though you didn't want to. We you didn't want to come to hot, crowded Disneyland today. You did not want to take pictures and do things. You wanted to be relaxed. Yep. You wanted to calm down. Yep. Well, I was talking about anxiety last time in sometimes vlog, man. Oh, I was yeah. talking about like, just sometimes like, there's a lot of pressure and different stuff and nothing's wrong, but you just have this anxiety thing and that's been a thing with for anxiety, you. With anxiety, the people either understand or they don't. Like right. You either have it or you don't. But that's a big thing for you is you've made this plan and you've made this thing and so now you've got this kind of hum, this background noise hum of anxiety between here and the, the fatal step. Right. And I was talking about how I have the same thing from this big trip from all this stuff. I just had this yeah. hum of like, it's a little bit stressful. Even yeah. though you, there's a certain relief to knowing what you're going to do, it's a little bit stress. There's this little bit of stress where you're like, 
I just got to get to that next point. Right. This this word has a negative connotation, but okay. it's, it's purgatory, basically. It's limbo. Yeah. yeah it's you're limbo. in this weird limbo where you like you, you just want to reach the end of it right. and go on to the next conclusion. Then you feel like you're going forward in life until you right. do it. I don't care if it's a trip or vacation. I don't mm. care if it's like a big moving step. And, and until you do, there's just this weird like. I right. kind of just want to put my head down, get, get the job done, and get your bearings, to, yeah. get to that next step. So, so, but you came out anyway. I did it. You came out for I'm them. Here. You came out for me, yeah. and I enjoy spending time with you, and so hey, do all I our love friends. It too. So here we go, out of Adventureland, past the jungle, cruise. Adventure. Captain Hook, I love your work. And then, right? I don't know, man, dude. You weren't here on Dapper Day, man. It was way hotter than this. And I was at the top of the jail. It was, it was, did you I see was, the video? Yeah, dude, dude the it video was, was fantastic. It was wild, bro. It was really funny. It was hot. I'm was not gonna lie. And there you go. And then we come out of Adventureland towards the Enchanted Tiki Room. Look at that. There's our Adventureland entrance. I think ours is better. Tiki Room, I like better here, but the other one is bigger. I get it. So a lot of people like the Pagoda. There's a Pagoda. We don't have a Pagoda on our Tiki Room. And then back out here. For views of the Matterhorn, the castle's right over there, Main Street, yeah. USA, and out of the park. We did it. We did it. We circumhubulated. Circumhubulated. We did it. Uh, so there we go. Tyler that Evans, was a big, That was a big walk. It was. We did a nice walk. Yeah. We had a nice time, a nice walk together. Are you hot in that outfit? It's so hot today. Just a little. Yeah. Just a little bit. Oh my gosh. Okay. See nice. what I did. Well done. Like a little pirate. Cle Cle see what I did. Very clever. See what I did. That's good. But you saw it though. No respect. Oh, okay, Hashtag. Okay. You saw it. Okay. Respect. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. okay. So we're respect in everybody's nuts. way now. We're going. Just by watching this vlog, and just for coming here, Tyler, you, Thank you. have done your duty. Oh boy. You can go, go home and sleep well.